Thursday night uh, Resorts World. So I came in here three times during EDC. This is the home hotel for EDC. And each time I came in here, it was dead. Even late at night, you know, it's late for me. I was in here at least till 11. But the people that went to EDC, they didn't come back in here until 4 in the morning, or 6 or 7 in the morning. So, let's look at the crowd tonight and compare it. There was no crowd last Thursday. None. Zero. Now that was a night before EDC, but people were arriving for EDC. So, they're doing... They're doing at least twice the business tonight. At least twice, if not more. I mean, it was dead. That guy in the middle has a lot of work to do. There's a lot of uh, math he has to know. And he's got to keep up with a lot. He's got to keep up with whose money's where. Yeah, the guy in the middle has a has the hardest job. Sometimes he has the most boring job because nobody's bet in the middle. It's a terrible bet, by the way. But nothing's a terrible bet if you win. So it's a five percent, something like that, house advantage. Um, that's the same as it is on roulette on your best day. So there's really nothing on the craps table that's a terrible bet. And like I say, if it wins, it's not a terrible bet. You tell the person next to you that didn't win, how about that terrible bet? But the middle has all those one roll bets, okay? So you saw all those uh, all those chips in the middle. You know, that guy had a lot of work to do. So what he does is he puts the chips in, um, in order of where the person is standing at the craps table. So if they're standing in the corner, he puts their money over on the corner. If they're on the other corner, he puts their money on the other corner. And he pushes it over to that section. And you've got to be paying attention because you've got to pick up your money when it's your money. A traditional craps game on a high traffic night is... Uh, it's the most exhilarating uh, game in in the casino. Uh, it's not even close because every other game is based on you, like baccarat. You got your own cards, blackjack. You got your own cards. Craps. Typically, people are betting with uh, on the pass line, and they're betting. They're not betting on the don't. You can bet against the players, and you can bet with the house. Sometimes I do that. But just don't let anyone know you're doing that, because it's not, 
it's not polite to cheer whenever you get a seven out when everybody's got thousands on the wow look at this thousands on the uh, craps table okay this is Thursday night what the hell is this Thursday night seriously seriously were these places open recent I mean I think it's not even 10 o'clock it's 9 let me check 9.37 it's a Thursday night what the hell are they doing this is just bad for business I don't care if you're if you're losing money you have to open your business every day they only gave uh, one company exemptions across the country and that was Chick-fil-A nobody else was able to close their business like in the airport and the uh, casinos and now I guess they just let them do what the hell they want yeah they would lose money tonight they said hell no we're not losing money tonight we're just not going to come in So this transfix, I went out there on the transfix a couple nights ago, and there wasn't a soul out there at 10.30. Might have even been 11, when most people should be asleep, including myself. Oh, they got live music. Good. But she ain't looking for them girls, them monsters, them monsters, them
yeah, well, Resorts World's doing way better. Way better than they were last week. So let's go back to that. Um, that's what I started this conversation. I don't know that EDC is a moneymaker for Las Vegas. I really don't. I don't know that the Oakland A's coming to Las Vegas is a good thing for Las Vegas. So that's just a lot of things. Formula One, for sure, is a loser for Las Vegas. It's all about money and corruption. The right people were influenced by Formula One to come here. It's not going to do one damn thing for anybody that lives in Las Vegas. It's going to hurt the weekend or the few days or the weeks uh, for the tourists. People that have a tremendous amount of money are going to come to the Formula One race and they're going to see it. Everyone else is going to be... Uh, Everyone else is going to be pissed off at all the traffic stoppages and the access to the casinos. We're not even going to be able to get in the casinos because of Formula One. The reason I bring up Formula One is I think it's a lot like EDC. I don't think it was good for Las Vegas. It actually... Uh, the casinos around... This hotel, which is Resorts World, the home hotel, we're doing terrible. So what happens to this girl up here that's wanting tips for, to, for play blackjack? You know, she's got a baby at home. And she made no tips on that weekend. But the hotel made money on the rooms? She didn't care. I don't blame her. He didn't make money. He didn't make money. He stood there and did nothing all week. She didn't make money. That that nacho place didn't make money. This place, this noodles, they didn't make money. The company that brought EDC out to EDC at the... Uh, uh, Las Vegas Speedway. They made money. I think they're the only ones that made money, really, because I don't. I wouldn't even say that this this hotel, even though they filled the hotel, charged a lot more. I'm not sure they made money yet. I'm, I'm sure they made a profit. But did they really make money in the long run? Because they probably had some people quit because it was so slow in here. So what I'm saying is the people that came for EDC did not spend any money in the hotels. They spent the money out at the Las Vegas um, Motor Speedway out there where they were doing uh, all the drugs and stuff. It was probably a good weekend for taxis and rideshare. But that's just a one-off. I mean, to take someone in an Uber from Las Vegas Speedway to the Strip that night would take over an hour. And you probably got $30 for it. Uber got 65 you got 30. Now, nah, is that worth it? No, hell no, it's not worth it. Because it took you an hour to do it. So whenever you uh, deduct all your expenses, you didn't even make money for the night. But I think the resorts world is doing decent on a Thursday night. I think everything's back to normal. But some of those nights on EDC were just terrible. 
that uh, light show or what it laser show they've got up on the roof not the roof but one of the decks fantastic I went up there and it was absolutely dead yeah I think I already told you that sometimes I repeat for the people that went to the bathroom during that time In con conclusion, the uh, these one-off events for Las Vegas look beyond the event. Always follow the money. Always follow the money. Not just Vegas, everywhere. Follow the money. Who got rich? Who got rich when they got the permits? Who got rich whenever they got the decision that they could come? Who got rich? Never ever is it the uh, working people. It's always someone else. So when Formula One comes to Vegas, uh, they will spend money. They will spend money in the casinos. There's no doubt about that. But there's a lot of events that come to Vegas. And the people don't spend money in the casinos. But somebody gets rich by allowing them to come. Which is, uh, you know, this is what this city's about. But anyway, uh, that's enough of my rant. I guess my rant should have been turned off five minutes ago. Or even longer, ten minutes ago. These girls are coming to see me. I gotta. I'm probably gonna have to go off camera to talk to them. I gotta give one of them a rose. I think. I, I don't know how this works. I'm kind of embarrassed. They are standing around waiting for me to give one of them a rose. Okay, she's the first. Gosh, I didn't know what to do. No, um, I needed Jesse Palmer here to help me with the rose ceremony. And wow, I dumped them all. I told them all to go home. I voted every one of them off the island. That's how mean I am. Because I want this girl that's got the steak, the steak and the cleaver. She's the best girl in the world. Okay, that's the end of Resorts World and my rant.